Hello and welcome to my Setting Up Todoist series. This is episode 20 and it is a special episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you 10 ways to get the most out of Todoist. I have covered some of these already in the previous episodes, but this is almost like a review if you like. Okay, so let's get started. First tip, number one, is get used to the, t the keyboard shortcuts. Uh, the two that I use most is Shift-Command-T, this uh, opens and closes Todoist, and the one which is the most valuable, which is Shift-Command-A, and you can add a uh, this adds a task, enter, and it adds a task straight into your inbox. Tip number two is use the highlight function to move tasks when processing. So imagine I've got to the end of the day and I'm now using, uh, I'm now doing my mini review. To save myself a lot of time, what I can do is these two uh, tasks here, do chapter on what is creativity and update Dr. Min on book progress. These go to the same project. So if I click on shift and then click on the Hamburger bar, you'll see that I have four options up at the top. Schedule, move to project, priority and delete. I can just add move to project. I know this one is called business uh, creativity. I can just click and off it goes. Same for the next two. Book tickets for ultra career and check to see if RK is okay for all three days. Again, if I click on these two, I know that these are personal single items. So I can just put single and send it to my personal um, I don't actually have to open the project window. Number three is make sure you do a daily mini review every day. It doesn't need to take more than 10 minutes, but the daily mini review will keep you on top of all the things that you have to get done. Number four is link your Dropbox and Google Drive accounts if you're using them. To do this, this is very simple. All you do is click on the notes icon, which is the speech bubble at the side of a task, and you'll click on the uh, paperclip icon, and then you've got drag drop files. If you click on your Dropbox, mine is already set up, it takes me directly to my Dropbox account. This is so useful uh, and it can save you so much time when you are working with Todoist. And number, let's have a look, get your personal email, this is number five, get your personal email address for your inbox. Now, this is really important. Uh, you're going to have emails coming at you all the time. So, with your inbox, if you go to the right-hand side of your inbox, you'll see the task actions icon. Click on that and click on email tasks to this project. This will give you your email address for your inbox. Put that into your contacts list and save it as Todoist. So much time can be saved by doing that. You don't have to copy and paste anything. You just forward the email directly to uh, Todoist. Number six is custom start page and how to activate it. Anthony Goana um, gave this in Francesco D'Alesso's Todoist series. Uh, to get this, all you need to do is go into your Todoist settings and you'll see down in almost near the top, start page. I have uh, P inbox, P double dot inbox. This is the inbox project, if you like, overdue and today. What this does is it gives me um, a page which shows me everything that I have to do today and to access it, all I have to do is click on the Todoist logo in the top left and it'll take me inbox. By the way, if you put P inbox at the end of that query, let me just go back there and show you, your Todoist items will be, so if you put P inbox at the end after today, then that inbox will be shown at the bottom of your list. There's a really good tip. Okay. Uh, highlight the action verbs. Now, what I mean by this is um, most of the time when I'm using my cell phone, I'm doing a quick scan to see what I have to do next uh, on my task list. Uh, I find it's really useful if I can see very quickly the verb that's associated with the task. So if I've got one here, which is write blog post 
uh, write blog for Terry, and I highlight the verb write. What I find with this is it helps me to see when I'm doing a quick scan exactly what I have to do uh, in terms of the task. Uh, let's get down to number eight is use the orange, yellow and white flags for the different times of days. Now, for those of you in the know, when you go to this adds a task, if you look in the priority levels, we've got priority one, priority two, priority three and priority four. Really, the only priority that should be important to you is the priority one, which is urgent, must be done today, which leaves you with three other flags. I use the orange flag, priority two, to denote a morning task, a yellow flag, priority three, to denote an afternoon task, and a white flag to do for an evening task. This means that when I look at my today list, I have... At the top, I have my morning tasks, and then I have my afternoon tasks, and then evening tasks. Uh, it just helps you to sort the list and just makes things a little bit easier. That then leads me into the next tip, which is using the filters. If you use uh, filters, you can actually set up for AM tasks, PM tasks. You don't really need an evening task because those are the ones that are left at the end of the day. My AM tasks will include, if I show you the filter, it's today overdue and P1 and P2. P2 is today uh, morning. Uh, my PM tasks uh, would be those three plus... Uh, let's just go into that for you. Um, so P2, P1. So if I haven't managed to do anything in the morning, I have that one there. That's a really useful um, filter to have and I'll put that in the notes section so you can copy and paste it. Number 10 is use IFTT's um, do note function. You can see it down here in the bottom right hand corner. I've set this up to talk directly to my uh, to do is so if I click on my do note and I can type in here uh, this is uh, this is a new task for Todoist. And all I have to do is click the button and off it goes to uh, my Todoist. There we go, it's gone. And if I open up Todoist now, and you'll see in my inbox, and in my inbox, this is a new task for Todoist. This is really, really useful when you are on the run and I find that Todoist often opens up on this window and if you notice on this window there is no plus button you have to actually press twice so I use my uh, do button in order to help me that is IFTTT's uh, do note application down here on the and here is a final number 11 bonus tip for you this one is in using Chrome uh, I strongly recommend that you download all the plugins available for Chrome. There are essentially two. One is a browser. If you do that, what you get is uh, you can have your Todoist list here. And this is really, really useful. This one hasn't actually updated for a while, but there we go. And also, if you go into your email and you're using this one, for example, I, maybe this one I want to send to my to do is if I've got the Gmail plugin, I can just add that to my to do is task. In it goes. And what you will find is this now. Let me just go out of here and I'll go into my to do is. Um, if I go into my to do is inbox, and here we go. If I click on this now, this will open up. Actually, my setting is for, for Safari, but. Um, it will open up and it will open up that email for me. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really useful. So if you're a Chrome user, uh, I strongly recommend that you get the, the plugin for your Gmail account. And that is really, really useful. So that's it. I Hopefully those uh, 11 tips uh, proved useful for you. I'll put a list of them in the notes section below. And hopefully you'll be able to use some of these tips to make your experience of Todoist even better. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode. 
Thank you to all of you who've watched the previous episodes. There are more to come, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.